place where we can be free. Find Jericho. Find Jericho. Guys, we are back with part three of Detroit Become Human. It's mad. This is where they left him. They left him in the dumpsters, in the graveyard. And he had to put himself, or assemble himself together. Uh, we managed to do that, and we're going to continue. Is it the audio in the game that it's a bit distort or is my headphones just just trash? I don't know. We're about to find out though. Wow. All the lost soul well, I can't really say lost souls in it because they don't have souls, but Oh Where shit. Shake, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like Land of the Lost, right? Replace damaged parts, find optical unit, find pump regulator. Alright, we've got a lot of work to do. I wonder if I'll get attacked by these other robots or are they just trying to find... They're just trying to find their own missing parts as well, you know? This is crazy though. Although, yes, they're not. Oh shit. Although, yes, they're not human beings and they don't feel anything because they're not programmed to feel, but at the same time, you know, it's fucked up. Okay, we found something compatible. That's good. I am slightly under the weather, guys, so apologies in advance for the sniffles, the slight sniffles you may hear. Okay, so I guess his audio is better now. Wow. Okay, I can hear everything super clear right now. Can we check anything here? Let's check here. And there was me thinking it was my headphones. Hello. I'm an AK-700 android. I was designed to serve you. What can I do? My program has detected an anomaly. Please contact the nearest CyberLife maintenance center. He's patching himself together piece by piece, sir. That's dope. Excuse me. Okay, optical unit functioning. So we have to find a pump now, right? Okay, there it is down there. Who 
Who is that singing? Wow. No, I don't need to climb, bro. I need to go over to the other side. Okay. Wow. And we have the last piece. I mean, this is his heart, right? He's removing. Well, not his heart, but the robot's heart. Let's say. I wonder if people know. Climb the slope. Do people know they're just like. They're just destroying and abandoning the robots and leaving them here just to die a slow, horrible death, you know? But it's like, do they know that it's death? Alright, come on, we can do this. Oh my god, I fucked up. Of course I would. Let's go again. Let's go. We can do this. Wow. I suck. Oh, I meant to hold on to it. My bad. Let's go again. Just a build up, guys. Just a build up with the music. That's what I was doing. Let me pay attention. I can't fuck up here because I don't want to slide all the way down. I forgot this game is based on your reactions, isn't it? So I really got to pay attention. I really got to pay attention. So. Don't cut yourself, man. Oh, he's gonna rip it out. Oh my gosh, is he gonna rip it out? The chip. Wow. So he's no longer programmed. No way. Surely he didn't become a human that, that faster. My name is Marcus. Oh shit. And just like that, a villain was born. Find Amanda. Lush world. It reminds me of... Um, oh my gosh, I can't remember the name of that movie now. It's still in my head. In. Let's go and interrogate now. We're going to inspect over here. Let's see what this is.
I don't know. I don't know what that done. <clears throat> I have no idea what that did. Do they have fingerprints? I was going to say it probably took my fingerprints, but I don't even know if they have fingerprints. There was someone in the middle here, if I'm correct. So let's go and ask them questions. Is this Amanda here? This could be Amanda. Hello, Amanda. Connor. It's good to see you. Finding that deviant was far from easy. You showed great skill in your investigation. But you knew deviants could be unstable. You should have been more cautious. I thought I could make it talk. It was a judgment error. Never mind. I'm sure you'll be more careful in the future. So she's not an android, right? Because she hasn't the got the interrogation seemed thing on her head. Challenging. What did you think of the deviant? Tra he was definitely traumatized. It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? Um, unsure. I'm He's obviously sure. not what I was expecting, but I don't have enough information yet to form a definitive opinion. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? Friendly, adapts, indifferent, don't know. Um, let's go adapt. I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest of the investigation that I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. Bam. Amanda and fuck with me more at all. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. We need to get in Amanda's good books. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. That is creepy as hell, man. Where's his desk at? We can go through here. Tensions in the Arctic have reached a new level. Let's have a look a at Russian this. A carrier and an American patrol boat reported to have clashed last night. Several warning shots were exchanged, apparently with no damage or casualties to either side. The Minister for Defense, Dennis Riggs, has spoken of intolerable provocation that cannot go unanswered. Oh, we can go through. Okay, nice. I can snoop around, shall we? Let's do a little bit of snooping then. So far, there has been no response from either Who am I meant to see? Wait, look for LT Anderson. Okay. So that's Reed. No name. There we go. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. So I'm thinking, imagine if you go to the supermarkets and all those um, machines at the self-checkout. Imagine if they replaced them with androids. 
androids that replicate humans to a T. Yeah, that's that would be that would be mad scary still. Okay, so let's go back here. We have to go on his desk, right? So we'll do a bit of snooping. See what kind of music he likes. Horrible taste. How was my driving? Anti Android, what does that say? Anti Android slogans, okay. So he likes basketball. <coughs> Detroit police dismantle a network of red ice dealers. Okay. Detective Anderson promoted to the rank of lieutenant. The record seizure of red ice in Detroit. So Lieutenant Anderson seems to have have a, a healthy resume anyway. Looks like police academy. Chibi's bar. That's his favorite spot, right? The bar, Chibi's bar anyway. Canines here, St. Bernard dog. So he has a little dog. Japanese maple. And some probably maple donuts. Stereotypical, right? Cops, they love donuts. That cup is probably dirty as hell. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Hank! In my office! There was something there. Let's pick that up quickly. Oh, shit. I missed that. I've got 10 new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just CyberLife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? <laughs> I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay, huh? okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. You're doing this to me. <laughs> I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. The android doesn't even know when he's being insulted. That's the crazy thing. So, 
I wonder whether Lieutenant Anderson is really the best person for this investigation. Hey, I don't need a machine to tell me how to handle my men, okay? So get the fuck out of my office. Have a nice day, Captain. And just like that, we're out of there. It was a file here. Let's have a look at this. Ah, oh, it's a magazine. Okay, we don't need that. <coughs> Constructive. It's an honor to be working with you, Lieutenant. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Partners, positive. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. That's not the best way to go. Let's try positive. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Oh, this guy's sick. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. This guy is sick of me already. Is there anything else to analyze or to inspect around here? No. I don't got myself a job. Now let's talk about sports. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. Oh, damn. Shit. I gotta get something right, come on. Let's ask about his dog. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair's on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. Oh, there we go. Some progression. Music, flower. Let's go to... Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well... I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. He's like, this guy is weird. Hours, Fowler, NC Androids. Um, let's go to hours. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? Uh-oh, went down. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah, there is one. And? I'm just gonna ask all of them, fuck it. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Bang. Yeah. Too long. Lab report says they cut it for something. Maybe they're trying out a new form of red eyes. If you have any files on deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminals on your desk. Knock yourself out. So he's missing. Missing disappearance victim, Gordon Lopez. The suspects. Charlie Bell. That's a different case, right? Two hundred and forty three files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. 
He is so disinterested. Let's go aggressive, fuck it. If the situation doesn't suit you, Lieutenant, you should ask to be relieved of duties and let me work with someone else. I know exactly what I have to do. So keep your advice to yourself and mind your own business. Fuck. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. Oh, it was up to me. I throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Uh, Lieutenant, I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX400 that killed the guy last night. It's oh, been sighted in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Maybe they do know about the robots in the dumpster. But I tried to be nice to him, as you guys can see. And I was getting nowhere, so I tried the more forceful approach. Also didn't get me nowhere. Yeah. So I don't know what else I could have done, honestly. Why do I have to change my appearance? Explore the area, check neighborhood. We've been down there. We know that there's nothing there. Does she think they're looking for her? They're not looking for her. Can we go through here? Underneath here. Shit, maybe I should have um, robbed this store. Could have stayed in a bloody hotel, wouldn't it? I tried to do the right thing and I'm still getting chased by police. Let's go white hair. Yeah, go on, rock with that. Looking like a young Scarlett Johansson. Oh, so she be she's becoming human as well. I mean, she still looks the same with her hat on, right? No, it wasn't a nightmare. <coughs> Have you 
How do you feel? I'm cold. What are we gonna do now? That android we saw yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. The train passes just on the other side of the road. The station can't be far. You feel okay to walk a little? Let's go then. It's crazy. She woke up. She ain't got a dad. The mum left, right? The mum left and he's with another guy. You're pretty like that. You really look like a human now. Shit. She's better than most humans. I can't even lie. Where are we going? Where's she going? Where are you going, Alice? Are we good to go? Are we in the clear? The police are on our trail. All right. That's all for now. Ready to go. You've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well, let me know if they turn anything up. What are you going to do with that? I have no idea. Took the first bus that came along and stayed at the end of the line. Its decision wasn't planned, it was driven by fear. Androids don't feel fear. Deviants do. They get overwhelmed by their emotions and make irrational decisions. All right, well, that still doesn't tell us where it went. It didn't have a plan and it had nowhere to go. Maybe it didn't go far. Maybe. Are we out? Okay, so we gotta uh, keep the danger level down. Oh shit, we gotta go this way. Oh, let's go back this way. Where the fuck am I to go? I'm fucked, I'm fucked, I'm fucked, I'm fucked. Walk this way, walk this way, walk this way. Oh shit! Is he following me? No, he's not. Alright, cool. I think we're in the clear now, right? We should be in the clear. Oh my god. Fucking hell, mate. Alright, let's go. I thought I got busted there. Got another one over there. Oh, I'm crossing, even though it's red. Are we good? I don't want Alice to get hit. Oh, I'm meant to go in there. Take an umbrella. Shit! Oh fuck! Stop! Shoot him! Quick! Call it in! We saw them headed for the train station. Damn, I tried to do it smooth. I couldn't though. I'm so shit with pressing the buttons, my god. My boy running though, okay. They're over there. Oh yeah, the police officer said I ain't getting paid enough to be chasing them. Oh, 
Oh, we got her. Oh, my God. Yo, she about to get hit. What the fuck? Oh, my God, the wrong way. God damn. Hey, where are you going? I can't let them get away. They wow. And never make it to the other side. I can't take that chance. Now you will get yourself killed. Do we go with God damn it. Let's go. He's about to get marked because I don't even know why I should go. Okay. All right, come on, Alice. Oh my God, the little girl got hit. What the fuck? Yo, this is way too much buttons for my liking, man. My God. That couldn't have gone more worse if I tried. Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. We contacted CyberLife. They looking at him like, I know who you are. You can't hide from me. But he out here with a pimp fur coat on. Look for the graffiti. They missed you. All right. There's some change. There it is. This is it right here, right? Bloody read it. There we go. All right, so I understand how the graffiti mechanics work now. So we've got to find that. It's a lion. It looks like a lion. We've got to take the... I was going to say escalator, but... Android only, blending with humans. Yeah, I was going to be lazy and take the escalators anyway. That's crazy though. Andrews can't take the escalators. They got to take the stairs. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Well, like he's, he's experiencing people apologizing, apologizing to him. For like the first time, you know. So he's experiencing that. And he's like, what the fuck's going on? Why are they apologizing to me? Because he's definitely uh, suffered 
a lot worse than a bumping anyway to human beings. Oh, we can actually run now, that's nice. All right, so bobbed wire and colorful building. Let's look for some bobbed wires then. Could be down there. It's not down that way, that's for sure. It could be down there. Oh, here we go, right there. I just saw it pop up. Okay, there we go. That's one, and we've got one more to get. Wherever it may be. One and two, okay. That one's above it. Let's go back a little bit. It says it's above it, right? Can I get it from here? Oh, on this side of the wall, okay. It showed something different on the, um, on the, the graffiti that it was printed on my hand earlier. One more. That's the last one right here. Nice. I'm not looking for much. I did not even see that. And there should be one more somewhere. Let's see if we can get a yellow flesh anywhere. Let's have a look again. It's just only showing that, that one. Okay, we've got to move this. Let's move this. I wonder if we have to climb on top and then it will give us access to more of the mural. Okay, Assassin's Creed. That's the last one there. Sparkle. Fucking hell, a lot of graffitis, isn't it? We gotta look at. It's like watchdogs. Use the right sticks to select. Use R2 to preview routes. Would be so unstable. Okay, I meant to find something, right? Oh, am I going crazy? Okay, I can run on the wall. This guy is fucking Assassin's Creed, isn't it? All right, let's execute it. Okay. He learns quick.
And now what are we doing? Okay, let's play this and see. <coughs> what kind of free running stuff he's gonna do now. Parkour. Ah, uh, we up there. Jump on there. Oh, that doesn't end well. Can we run on the wall again, maybe? Ah, okay, here we go. Wall running again. I hope Matt doesn't break. That's the only option. Let's go. Light work. Absolute light work. Okay, so we are here and maybe a bit more back. Oh shit, what was that? Or oh, what is that? Find the next graffiti, follow the trail to Jericho. This is the graffiti here, right? This is what it's telling me. Am I going crazy or something? Let's see, let's go right up to the wall because I'm sure it's going to prompt me to go up to the wall. Now it's going to give me the hold R2 and scan. Maybe at the same distance as where the picture was taken. So just in, for, just in front of the cinder block here. So right there. Okay. Like right here. I'm literally doing everything I need to be doing. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Fucking hell. Okay, we got it. I am not getting out of this because... I don't know if we'll be able to get back into it. Nah, we know where that is. That's straight through here. I'm so horrible with the buttons, honestly. Pressing the buttons and everything. Ah, it's an abandoned ship. See if we can find anything else around here. Oh, there's something up there. That's another way up there. Let's go through here. How can we go through here, though? Can we go through here? It's giving us another dialogue way. Let's see if we jump. Okay. I guess the path to the boat, that bridge is um, broken, right? It must have been for us just to go through here straight away, like that.
What are we going to find on this boat? I actually thought it was cinematic, so I stopped running. This game looks gorgeous. Flashlight. <coughs> oh, and it still works. Nice. You never know what you might find down here. You might have to flash. Flash something in the eye, you know? The Last of Us, uh, is it the second one when they're on the boat? It is, right? Last of Us 2. Can we go through here? No. Or maybe, actually, let's try. When they're on the ship and all the clickers. We've got one door open. It's a good start. Android on the run. Okay. There was another door here. Open that. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh shit. I did not expect that <laughs> at all. <laughs> Right, breathe, breathe, Mike. Breathe, breathe. Stay calm and collected. Can we go through here? We can't. We can, right? We should be able to go through here. There we go. Why can't I walk through? Oh, there we go. Okay. What was that that just ran though? Honestly, what the hell was that? There better not be zombies in this game. They better not be fucking zombies in this game. Because all I've got is a flashlight. Ooh. Well, the flashlight is still working, that's a good thing. Welcome to Jericho. 